Jenna Ortega says Michael Keaton jump scared her dressed as Beetlejuice. He had molds peeling off his face. Jenna Ortega got the fright of her life thanks to her Beetlejuice Beetlejuice co-star Michael Keaton. During an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on Wednesday, August 21st, the actress, 21, revealed that Cat Keaton, 72, jump scared her while dressed as his iconic character on the set of the 1988's movie's highly anticipated sequel. What is it like when Michael Keaton comes on set as Beetlejuice? asked host Jimmy Fallon. Does everyone get quiet or do people cry? I would cry. He came up behind me, explained Ortega. I was getting a hair and makeup test, and I got a tap on the shoulder and I turned around, and it was a jump scare for sure. He was like, oh hey I'm Michael, and he had molds peeling off his face. I played it cool and then it was cool until I met him for a second time out of hair and makeup because I introduced myself again because I forgot that I had already met him. She added with a laugh. Yeah, you didn't meet Michael Keaton, you met Beetlejuice. Added Fallon, 49. The Wednesday star went on to describe Keaton as the coolest and admitted she was scared about working alongside the Oscar nominee and co-stars Winona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara who also starred in the original movie as Lydia and Delia Dietz. Never in my wildest dreams. I just never could have anticipated something like that happening, revealed Ortega, who plays Lydia's teen daughter Astrid Dietz in Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Lydia is the coolest character on the planet. Just everything about it, I was terrified. Earlier this month, Ortega honored Lydia's style as she stepped out in New York City in a custom Tom Brown fit that channeled the OG film's unforgettable final scene. Ortega fitting wore the ensemble, which consisted of a navy cardigan featuring Lydia's school's emblem, a plaid skirt, and two-toned Mary Janes, for press rounds for her latest movie. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice hits theaters September 6th after opening the Venice Film Festival on August 28th.